bubble in the middle, that's why you want to make those cuts. criticize you or judge you or blame on you for that. Mindset. To view your home and your job as a homemaker as your Welcome back to the Mind, Body, Soul Homemaking. If you already know, my name is Audrey. I make motivational homemaking videos, wife, life content, traditional slow living. So if you're interested in that, you can go ahead and uh, hit the subscribe button below. But this is just will be a few days of homemaking and hopefully you find some inspiration. But today we're going to start off by baking a peach pie. We picked these uh, yesterday from my friend's peach tree. So my husband is going to have some friends over and put up his shed. I figured I'd go ahead and just make a little something homemade-ish. <laughs> I think it's time to be making homemade backgrounds. Yeah, just something for them to enjoy after a long days of work. So this is just a little reminder for you to maybe make something for your husband or just randomly you could make something for your neighbor. Maybe you know of a friend who's going through a tough time. Just something to let them know maybe you are thinking of them and really to uplift their mood. The recipe that I got off is just from YouTube. I'll link it below. Hopefully it turns out to be good. It's just the basic things that go into a peach pie. So we're going to go ahead and get started before he wakes up. Hopefully I can get some of this done. Let's just go ahead and get started. Close your eyes. I wanted to show you my new cookbook. <laughs> it's vintage. It's from the Better Homes and Garden, and I found it on eBay for seven dollars. And I was just looking to see if they had a peach pie, but they don't. I also was trying to look for whipped cream, and sort of something like it. If it had, this had had like egg yolks or something, but everything else was like whipped cream ingredients. So, I don't know. Oh well. I just wanted to show you my new book. I'm super excited about it. The world could fall down, it's gonna be okay. The sun could go out, we're gonna be okay. If all the blue skies fade to gray, we're gonna be okay. Calm yourself.
So a way to tell if your pie is done is if it's bubbling in the middle. That's why you want to put those cuts in because it's been probably four hours. I'm not joking because my oven is not working so well. But, uh, and I had to change and everything because Josiah spit up on me. So it's been a long four hours, <laughs> but it's finally done. And yeah, do you want to tell if your pie is done? Or wait until it starts bubbling. Oh, learn that from a wise older lady. trouble if you really want to start drinking apple cider vinegar and you're having a hard time with the taste and you don't want to put it in water um, I would try like a watermelon strawberry uh, you know flavors some type of flavored sparkling water like you can barely like even know that it's there which I'm gonna start doing in the mornings just for when I have like an upset stomach or just good to take apple cider vinegar there's so many health benefits to it and I got off track with doing it but it's one of those things like I'll put uh, little sticky notes on things that I want to work on that I'll quickly forget so one of them I'll just have like on the fridge or something apple cider vinegar <sighs> so yeah So it's the next day and today I wanted to put together a crock pot dish. I want to do something like chicken and dumplings or there's a few ingredients I don't have but I'm just gonna put a bunch of things together and hopefully it will work. So we're gonna do that today and I made myself some chia pudding to try and eat healthier. I think it's like a cup of almond milk and three tablespoons of chia seeds and then you, know, you can flavor it with cinnamon, banana, peanut butter on top. So yeah, we're gonna do that. I don't have much planned today. Nap time takes pretty much a lot of our day. Doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so we're just gonna make a crock pot dish and do a little bit of cleaning maybe. Um, I wanna meal prep today, but I don't know if I'll show that. It's too stressful. I'm trying to meal prep Sunday. That way I have it the rest of the week because I find that I'm skipping meals and I'm not eating enough nutritious, hearty meals. He's doing that <laughs> with his tongue. I can't even do it, but yeah. So yeah, we're just going to go ahead and get started today, and let's just go ahead and get to it.
longer I've waited The more that I've tried All the years that I've wasted Trying to find it All that I go through For my peace of mind So I wanted to share real quickly a homemaking channel that I enjoy. Her channel is called Because It Matters, I'll link it below. But specifically this video, which I'll also link below, I like to share every now and then on my videos other homemaking channels here on YouTube just to help motivate and inspire all of us because there's so many different variety lifestyles of homemakers and it's nice to see everybody's perspective and their viewpoint on homemaking and I really like hers specifically this video about developing a homemaker's mindset and just really trying to stay positive and feel motivated when you feel uninspired and the first tip that she talked about was how to develop the mindset to view your home and your job as a homemaker as your career and I really like that because she talked about how this has changed her game and how she wakes up every morning and approaches, you know, her tasks throughout her day. She also talked about how she gets dressed up for the day, how if you're a nurse or if you're a doctor or if you're a waitress, you know, you have a uniform and you put on that uniform to go to work. So the same way is true with homemakers, you know, we want to put on our uniform and get us in that mindset and it really helps you like she said to take things more serious to be more mindful to not feel like you're unfulfilled in some way or you have to be somewhere else or you're just not you know living your life you're just doing this other thing this is your life you know this is so it's a mindset it's not something that comes naturally or comes normal to many homemakers you know you have to develop that mindset so I will link this video below and hopefully you can watch it and go support her. She's a small channel like myself. So yeah, go check her out and I'm sure she'll really appreciate the support. I can hear the wind It's always been I just wanted to share something real quick. A little life lesson I learned while grocery shopping. <laughs> like I've told you ladies, I always encourage you to look out for those life little lessons. Anyways, as I was shopping around, there was this mom and her three little girls. They were probably like eight, nine, or 10. She was very stressed. <laughs> she was very aggravated with them. She was like aggressive with them. She's like, come on. And you know, she's like, don't, don't do this and don't do that. And she was just, she was just hyped up. And I kept running into her, like, throughout the whole Walmart. <laughs> and I was like, man, like, I do not want to be like her. That's just, you know, wrong, you know, to treat your kids like that and everything. So anyways, I left the store and as I was pulling out, she was in front of me in the parking lot with her three little girls, like, kind of doing the same thing. And I was like, okay. I was like, what's the lesson here? So I just thought, yeah, I don't want to act like that. I don't want to have that behavior when I, you know, as a mom. But at the same time, like, we don't want to be quick to judge. We do not know 
what happened that day with her, what happened that week, that month, and even if there wasn't, motherhood is hard and she has three little ones and I can sympathize because it is hard to go grocery shopping with kids, a baby, and you know, it's just hard. I know there's been times I've went out in public and I just have like a bad attitude. You just hope that, you know, when you come back home, oh, you know, I hope people don't judge me for that or, you know what I'm trying to say, like, there's been those moments you've acted a certain way and you hope people, you know, don't criticize you or judge you or put a label on you for that. So yeah, we just don't know what people are going through. You know, she could have lost her husband, you know, last week. It could just be a variety of things. Just the everyday stresses, like I've mentioned in my last video of life and raising kids. So we just wanted to have compassion for people and be sympathetic and try to, you know, empathize with them and put ourselves in their shoes. And what I really should have done was, you know, commend her. I ran into her so many times. And, you know, I had the thought, man, like, that's, that must be hard. And I should have, you know, took the initiative. That's not in my personality to go out of my way to, you know, do that. But being trained in my ministry, it's something that we push past that initial thought, like, you know, to just hold back and just to, you know, make the initiative and go up and say, wow, you know, you could say something like, wow, you know, you're, you're doing a good job or I don't know how you do it or just something because... I know for myself and probably for you guys, if anybody commends you on a bad day, you kind of hold on to that for like the whole week and it kind of just lifts your mood and just, you know, gives you a little bit of hope. So anytime you have like an opportunity that, you know, presents itself, I encourage you to go out of your way and encourage, you know, other homemakers, other moms and not hold back. So yeah, and not be quick to judge because once we judge, I think that just, if we're constantly judging and like putting labels on people and as homemakers and moms and wives, you know what we're doing, we're really, and I find it for myself, that's how I'm perceiving the world. And the more I'm quick to judge and like put a label on somebody, it's like I just added to my world of how people are in the world. And then I, over time, you start to perceive the world in this negative, pessimistic, yes, there's a lot of negative and <laughs> pessimistic and bad things in the world, but it's what you choose to focus on, you know, fo try to focus on the good and try to, you know, see the best in people and assume the best in people. And then that will add to your world and you will start seeing the world in a different light. So yeah, I just wanted to share that because I'm constantly trying to do the same thing and I'm constantly trying to, you know, reevaluate, put on a better personality and just overall be more compassionate towards people in the world because the world is stressful and motherhood is hard <laughs> okay so yeah just wanted to share that with you if you are struggling or if you were that mom um you taught me a lesson <laughs> so and i commend you for all your hard work in raising those little girls